In this video, I'm going to introduce the term residual sum of squares. So R stands for residual, and the RSS is equal to the sum from 1 to n, so assuming we have n data points, of yi minus the estimate of beta naught minus the estimate for beta 1 times xi and then squared. So remember we've actually already encountered this term before. So remember when we were looking for estimates of beta naught and beta 1, we considered this term and we decided to set the estimates beta naught hat and beta 1 hat to values such that this entire term is minimized. So that's what we mean when we say beta naught hat and beta 1 hat are least squares estimates of beta naught and beta 1. They're estimates such that this entire term is minimized. So we've actually already encountered this term in the right at the very start. And uh, people also give this concept uh, an alternative name. Some people call it the error sum of squares. So in that case, it will be called the ESS. But for this and in the later videos, I'll just stick with this terminology. I'll just call it the residual sum of squares. So now I'm going to provide a brief geometrical interpretation of the residual sum of squares and what's going to come next is kind of similar to the discussion in the first video so if you're familiar with that material then you can probably skip this and if not you can keep watching so what exactly is the RSS so first let us consider the collection of n data points that we have gathered so we've gathered a set of n data points which we can plot on this XY plane so I can plot all of the individual data that we've collected. So we have a collection of n points on this xy plane. And then once we've collected all of this data, we can now construct estimates for beta naught and beta 1. And then taking these two values, now I can draw a line called y is equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x. So this would be a line that runs through the data like this. So it will have a intercept of beta naught hat and then it will have a slope of beta 1 hat. So now that I've drawn this line over here, now I can consider the coordinates of the points that lie on this line as well as the coordinates of our individual data points. So let's say we're considering this point over here. So let's say this is the coordinate of our first data point. So let's say this point here has a coordinate of x1, y1. Now I can consider a corresponding point lying on this line that has the same x coordinate. So this point over here will have the coordinates x1, which is the same as this, and then it will have a y coordinate of y1 hat. So y1 hat is the y coordinate of the point on this line, and then y1 is the actual y coordinate of the actual data that we've collected. And then we can do the same for all of the other, other data points. So let's say this point here is x2, y2. Similarly, I can consider a point on this line that has the same x coordinate, and then this point here on the line will have coordinates x2, y2 hat. And then you can see that uh, by doing the same thing uh, for all the other points, you can see that yi hat is really just given by beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat times xi. And you can see that this term over here is really just this term over here. So we can actually rewrite our RSS as the sum of yi minus yi hat and then squared. And then the uh, taking yi and then minusing yi hat, what this means is that so yi minus yi hat and then squaring it, what this value represents is this vertical distance that you see over here. The distance between the actual data point and the vertical uh, and the uh, regression line itself. So it's the this vertical distance that you see over here. So yi minus yi hat is the vertical distance that you can s see over here. It's the vertical distance that you get when you draw a line from your data point to your regression line. So what this quantity represents is really just a the deviation between the actual data points and the regression line. So in general, when you're doing regression, you want this quantity to be as small as possible. So if this is small, that means all of your data sticks very close to your line, so that means your line fits the data very well. But if this quantity is very big, that means your data is very spread out and it does not stick to the line, and so that means your line is a very bad fit. So in general, when we do linear regression, we want our RSS to be as small as possible. And so this is the geometrical interpretation of RSS. 
represents the sum of the square of all these vertical distances that you see over here. And uh, one last thing I should mention is that, recall in a previous video, I considered the unbiased estimator for the parameter sigma square, and the unbiased estimator was called s square, which was given by this formula. So if you don't remember, you can check back on that video. And you can see that the summation term is really just the residual sum of squares. So I can actually rewrite this estimator as RSS divided by n minus 2. So if you don't remember this formula, you can check back on that video. But I can, all I'm trying to say is that you can express the estimator in terms of the RSS. So I think this is something you should take note of.